My aunt was a, a beautiful portrait painter. Her philosophy was you do the eyes first because that gives the personality. So I've actually somehow followed that with the birds and always done the eye. I love the simplicity of it and I love using a lot of negative space because I feel the negative space defines the object that you're looking at in the piece. We had a tragedy happen to us. My daughter's godmother died of cancer. She had three months to live, and I thought, wow, if I had three months to live, have I done what I wanted to do? And it's like, no, I've always just wanted to be an artist. I mean, plain and simple. So I closed up my gallery, and I started to paint and draw. But I've always been enamored with Asian art, ever since maybe third grade when I was given a book on the Tokyo Museum of Art. I always thought simple was better. I just started painting interiors and fruit, and yep. that led to birds because of my love of birds. It feels like home and it's like my park. It was, you know, I'd go around on my hikes and pick up trash and things like that. When I was hiking one day, I was using a pine tree as a balance and I had a yellow warbler land on my shoulder. Then it kind of looked at me like, oh my God, you're not a tree. <laughs> It took off. It was wonderful to finally be able to just take the time, since I'm always painting in the studio, five to 10 hours a day, to relaxing and just hiking and actually seeing the birds more in their environment. Mm -hmm. 